Holy crap, it's day eight of the vlog series. Day eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not too late. So, uh, last night I said I wanted to come up with topics to talk about. I'm trying to figure out the best way for me to plan everything that's going on, right? So, I'm kind of getting overwhelmed to, like, you know, there's a point where, like, you have so much going on that you just kind of do a little bit here, do a little bit there, but you never really get anything done. That's kind of what I'm, I feel like right now, right? So, in between... Writing the e-cookbook, the new grilled cheese one, reaching out to different people for brand deals, worrying about the farmer's market, private chef dinners coming up, as well as larger catered events like weddings, the baby's christening, another family wedding we're going to, a lot of things going on, and it's kind of like overwhelming, right? As On top of all that, just making sure we have enough to go by every single day and to keep creating content daily right the, the three posts a day at least i mean i don't even know if i'm doing that anymore i just post everything like, i don't have a schedule to when i post stuff guys i just like as soon as it's done i post it because i'm literally if i let stuff sit down i'll probably forget about it and it'll be there for a while but in regards to everything my topic today is everybody and this is, I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm niche this down to the people in the hospitality industry. If you're a cook, if you're a sommelier, if you work in the restaurant industry, if you like cooking, you should be on social media. You should be making a brand. Well, it's so annoying, right? When people are like, "This is my brand. This is me. I am my brand." Right? It's kind of an annoying thing to say. It kind of, it's kind of a, a cringy thing. But in reality, it's like you are your brand. You are your persona. The image you put on is what people are going to look at and see, right? Like, I look like a scrub all the time. I wear the same workout shirt, shorts, maybe two days, three days in a row. People see me. I wear the same hat maybe once in a while. I change my hat. I, but, you know, it's just, for me, it's like this is what I have. This is what fits. This is what I'm comfortable in. And it, it helps me, like have less decisions on my mind I don't have to worry I don't have to think about it might not seem like a lot like a man you just gotta put shirts and pants on like I don't have to be like oh this doesn't match this I just kinda like wear whatever and like it's that decision fatigue right is that a real thing I don't know I know what's his name that Facebook guy what's his name Zuckerberg he wears the same t-shirt every day too but he probably has like a million of them and he just throws them away when they're done but this is this is something that I do like the least amount of decisions I have to make the better I feel about going about things if I just like if I don't think about something too much and I just get up and do it, the better I feel about it. I mean, I like to let things marinate, ideas blue and go out and like to, to to grow over time, to mature as an idea, to transform into the final idea. Because of me, it's like sometimes things get better with time, sometimes things get better when you just get it done. So whatever it is, the, thing, the great thing about that is if you do something and you just don't want to let it marinate, if you just want to do it and get it done, you can always come back to it and be like, maybe I can change it up. So as you can tell, this conversation is kind of going everywhere. Back to the main focus of every, y'all should be taking advantage of social media. The power of social media is incredible, right? Like being able to connect with people, being able to build your brand awareness, being able to put out a like kind of a persona, like I'm not saying, like, to be fake. I'm not saying that you have to be 100% you. I'm just saying do what you want to do in reality. I mean, the only way I'm comfortable doing it is if I'm putting myself out there. And it's me. You know what I mean? Not not being somebody fake. It's just being a real me. Because it's too much energy for me to be somebody else. Right? Um, and the best thing about it is, like, there's so much possibility. You can meet so many cool people. But let's touch more about that later today. Um, because it's getting hot in the car. I'm going to turn the AC back on. <laughs> Look at this. I think something's on fire. What? Something's on fire over there. I don't see anything. Something's on fire. Where? Outside. I am looking outside. You don't see that. Uh, okay. Something's on fire over there. What is it? What did I do? Can't zoom in and see. Where did I go? I'll 
Yeah. So this is a gas plug in. Well, that's because I farted. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, today's vlog was kind of weird. Um, a lot happened, but I also didn't get to catch a lot of it. It was a busy day. Um, prepping for the farmer's market tomorrow. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it or not, just because, like, it's supposed to rain all night and we're getting warnings for a flash flood again tonight. So, I didn't want to prep everything just in case, but, yeah, so it's going to be a long day tomorrow. Usually, these are my long days, like, 18, 20 hour days. It means I'm awake on my feet, getting things together for the market or prepping or setting up or breaking down and washing dishes. So, I'm usually up and out by 7 and then back home by 11.30 which is, how long is that? Seven, eight, I don't know. That's that, and then like, then I do all the financial stuff at the night to make sure everything adds up. <laughs> but it is one, it is 2.05 right now. And I'm just recording this part so I can up, upload this, this segment for tonight's episode of the vlog 8.0. 20, vlogging straight. 28 days, vlogging, vlogging 38, third, vlogging 30 days straight till I'm 28. <laughs> I went to the gym again this morning, it's great. I started listening to my master classes again, so I, I, I'm a subscriber to master class. Uh, Elaine Winthrop, she's the new one, she's, uh, she's great, I like her story, I like her, she's shared a lot, but yeah, she's, she's giving a lot of valuable insight and it's helping me stay happy stay hungry and it feeds my soul and feeds my mind but um i'll catch you guys the next time thanks for tuning into all this and i hope yeah have a good one. Oh man peace